my one-on-one -on -one time with God, it's like spending time with the person who means the most to me. It's it's a lifeline to uh, to the Almighty, and uh, I don't look at it as a ritual. I look at it as a privilege. If you think about it, you get to ask God your requests, your needs, the needs of uh, your friends and family, um, to the person who created the universe and he actually listens and you know how awesome is that. I'm really grateful for a vow that I made as a teenager um, to spend five minutes in God's Word every day and some days that's 20 minutes some days that's just strictly the five minutes but I've been so grateful that I did that as a teenager because it keeps me in God's Word daily. As a busy college student it's very important that I spend at least one time with God every day. Uh, in today's age, it's really taking a backseat role. Uh, God's not really a priority in most people's lives, but it's very important that I spend at least one moment with God, whether it's reading my Bible or praying or whatever it is. My time alone with God's important because it feels like a reset. I spend most of my time alone with God in the car. I get really touched by worship and music. And it's just when I hear in the songs how much God loves me despite of who I am, it just breaks me down. I really enjoy the Bible app. That's been such a blessing to have on my smartphone. And I find that it's really easy just to read a whole bunch, to get a scroll through. And sometimes even the audio, I can listen to it while I'm doing things around the house. Um, and I love all their plans. Um, I've done the ones where you read through the Bible. I you don't usually do it here. I like to take my time and make sure I'm actually soaking it all in so sometimes it's two or three years for me for those plans but I like the variety they have so many different ones even just monthly plans holiday plans different things that include devotions or not so that's a real favorite of mine probably the most meaningful thing to me uh, is the fact that it just keeps me grounded and centered in my uh, Christian life I I really can focus on God throughout the entire day rather than being constantly worried about the pressures of the world and everything around me. My favorite part of my devotional time with God is, and it doesn't happen every time, is when he, His Holy Spirit instructs me about something. And oftentimes He does it through His Word, um, but I feel so grateful when He uh, tells me things I need to improve in my life because I know he's taking a personal interest in helping me grow as a Christian, and that gives me a lot of joy. The most treasured time of my quiet time is my prayer time, and it's something that I really look forward to. Something I have a little binder that I've had for probably about 20 years of um, requests that I've written down, different things, um, intercession, supplication, and thank, the names of God, um, you know, it's an opportunity to praise Him, thank Him, lay my requests before Him, and all, all sorts of different lists for youth or family or whatever. And it's a way I can write things down and actually keep my word that I'm going to pray for somebody. I have it numbered in a system so that there's a portion each day, so it's not overwhelming, like, oh, i got to go through this whole book in a day. And long gone are the days where I'm up at five and spending quiet time with the Lord before everybody else is awake. Now my binder's open while I'm washing dishes or folding laundry or something like that. But just work it in as I can as a busy mom. When we're in worship and I just start thinking of all the good things that God has for me, I can't help but to be grateful. And that's why I like my time alone with God.